everybody, this is Praxis, and I've been working on this wall over here today. Uh, I really wish that I had put all the foam insulation on before I set up the scaffolding. My, my feeling was that I wanted to leave a big section of this wall open so that I'd be able to uh, you know, bring the dirt in somehow, maybe like with a scoop or dump it in when I needed to bring the dirt on, in on the inside. But the uh, landscape people never really figured out a way of doing that, and we've just been shoveling, as you saw yesterday, through the windows. So I started uh, kind of filling up this wall with wall boards and, and putting foam off the side. It would have been a lot easier to have done it um, you know, before I had all the scaffolding in the way, so it's been a little bit tricky. But the reason I, that I am doing it now is that it'll be a little nicer doing the top section if it can rest right on top of this stuff instead of building the top section and then trying to build from underneath so I don't have to be tucking stuff up from below. So. That's what I've been doing today. Uh, Josh was here earlier today. He uh, was, you know, just throwing more dirt uh, into the inside. And I wanted to get a video uh, here, uh, not not just because uh, it's windy and the audio, the sound would be terrible if, you know, I was out there. I, I was going to do a bit out there because some people have been asking about wanting to see kind of the house from, you know, far back. And I will get something like that. But it's kind of breezy today and the, t the you wouldn't be able to hear me from all like the mic wind sound and everything. So I'm tucked in here. You can see that there's some concrete behind you. It's protecting the, the camera from the from the wind right now. But I also wanted to show you that, uh, you know, I've adapted my uh, scaffolding system. The last time uh, we did something on the other side fairly similar to this, except uh, this time we've set the scaffolding up so that it, it is over on the sill plate over here that pushes it further towards the edge and that'll make it easier to work on the edge of the house. When we did it last time, I, I really I needed to put a ladder diagonally up to really do the last couple feet. That was a little bit inconvenient, and this way I can work right from the scaffolding. So uh, that's an improvement. It also got the scaffolding up, because we've got the gravel delivery here. It's a little higher. We're about a foot higher, so every time I get on a ladder and I'm going up, I'm, the ladder you know, doesn't have to extend that extra foot, which is nice. It's more stable. Uh, also, with the, uh, the support beam here, uh, instead of taking these pressure treated um, sill plates and just kind of laying them flat, which is what I did last time, which is kind of bouncy, I put them up on end and that's both to make them more rigid uh, so that it, the whole platform just feels more secure when you're up there and also it works in concert with the idea of everything was getting elevated up because uh, you know, the scaffolding is over on the sill. So, you know, second time's a charm on this one. It's a lot more stable, a lot more